What involvement, if any, was required from the legacy EMR vendor and the go-forward EMR vendor? So what's their role? And August, when it's your turn, um, you know, do you play a role as the service provider in dealing with those vendors? Uh, or you know, to what degree does the customer, Chris, have to be involved? Uh, you, know, you get a lot of, co- a lot of uh, chefs uh, in the kitchen. So go ahead. Chris, why don't you go first? That's a, a fantastic question. So it's really, um, you have to really work with your, I'll say, previous vendor or maybe your current vendor on, on what they can produce for you. So our, our previous vendor was able to create um, an XML file or essentially a CCD that we could extrapolate this data from. And then we worked with um, our, our another, you know, vendor to kind of, say, okay, now we have this in this form, how can we translate this to um, the the, um, receiving or our new EMR specifications? And so you have to really have some technical folks involved that can understand some of that language, if you will, um, and understand how maybe, how data might be transformed along the way um, so that you can help you know, kind of get it from point A to point B. And we were able to work with with Galen in particular to kind of map that out because, you know, we went to our prior vendor. They basically just said, this is what we can do. And then we had to figure out, okay, so how do we get it from that point (laughs) to the point of our receiving EMR? And so we needed some help technically along the way to kind of um, figure that out. And so some of... (laughs) 